Hello everybody, welcome back with a new video. If you are a new viewer to the channel, welcome to the Helium Addict. I highly recommend to watch the presentation video. He will show you what this channel about. If you know exactly what you want, I highly recommend to check the playlist to find exactly the subject that you want. And in the playlist, you will find, you will find every video organized part one, part two, part three. And please don't skip the part like this. You will be sure that you understand everything and automatically when you finish part one, the playlist move to the part two from the video. Now I will make, I already make other part about Glamos and they make other part how to test antennas like the 3dB antenna, the 5.8 antenna from Rack and the 8dB antenna from Rack and 9dB antenna from McGill. In this video specifically, I all of them I test them before without lightning arrester. But in this video, basically, I built here magnetic stand with ground system and I use a lightning arrester. This is the most expensive one that I find. It's 35 euros in Amazon if I remember correctly. I bought two of them because I didn't want to buy from China and pay the border tax or I buy from the UK and pay the border tax and to be honest because I, I almost have to say I read that when you buy cheap quality they will have higher DB loss so when I bought this I bought this I didn't make so much research, so I just go to Amazon, I look to the most expensive one, like theoretically the most expensive is better. But you must make a research, the quality of the material who make the lightning arrester better, because he will be outdoor and this will affect him. And the noise figure and the latency, he create latency on, for your miner to witness. And he reduce your DP power. As you can see, so this for this reason, it was a winter, and as you know, in the winter we're not. There is a very very low chance to be light arrest, lightning around. Only when it's hot with cold cloud they create lightning. You must read about this. So I decided to not put lightning arrester on my antenna. So I install everything without lightning arrester in my hotspot just to avoid latency and db loss but i'm not an expert i not recommend this i recommend to make your own research and make your own decisions okay every i mean germany we not have so much storm some addresses some areas from germany they have a lot of storm some areas no but for safety reason you always need lightning arrester or or even better option you can use a cavity filter and you must ground the cavity filter instead of this. I use high cavity filter because like example, a cavity filter from Jet Vision, they have a cavity filter, it's out of stock at the moment. He have 0 0.5 dB loss. Okay, it's long presentation, but you have to understand. I'm not an expert. I just share with you what I do with my miners. Copy me on your own risk, okay? I must make the disclaimer to not close this YouTube channel. Now I try to copy the reality. I make the lightning arrestor connected directly to the antenna. Basically, this is the heater. He's 100% ground into the ground. I check it down in the building and here I put it with the copper. Everything is grounded. The main reason from this test, just to see how much latency he make, or this is what the data say, that he make latency, he give you less witnesses, he will reduce your DB. The only way to figure out is by testing. I'm lucky enough, I'm like to say, I'm fortunate enough, at the moment I own Glamour's Walker, and they will use him to test this theory. Okay, if you are interested, continue to watch the video. If it's not, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You have to make your own research. 
Normally to test the lightning arrestor, I must to have VNA device to test exactly how many dB he make. Unfortunately, I don't own VNA at this moment. And you must to have the VNA to test the antenna that she's functioned properly first to be sure she's a good antenna, not corrupted and everything. At this moment, I don't have VNA. I will test only with the Glamus. If you are interested, continue watching. If it's not, I'm sorry to waste your time. Okay, no further ado. Now we will test one antenna, for example, the 3dB, connected to the lightning arrested, which it's grounded. And I will use the antenna alone without the lightning arrester and not grounded and we will see how much different because I cannot ground her with she to do magnetic it's very difficult because this copper wire is very rigid not flexible to to play with okay let's start testing now I make refresh close it on off your device if you want to know how to use the glamos i make videos part one part two and i make even other part i'm basically i'm making videos how to make how to register him to the helium network and everything watch the other parts to understand me more okay it's on go to the settings wi-fi in the other video, I explain step by step how to go to these settings. Go watch them if you don't know. We will use the same place, the same magnetic stand, everything the same. The only different, it will be the antennas and power. It's 14 dBi's. Select. This is the legal power for European people. Always the RX SF12, which means long range for European SF12, like I said. The rest of the world SF9. Read on the website to understand more. For the first time, you must have joined the network. As you can see, orange light, his beaconing. You can see he sent the beacon. He's still connected to the same cable, just to show you. The first beacon it take long successfully enjoy okay successful send them one more time beacon six now you make back you see for the first beacon he he put you back to sf9 you must to adjust it one more time and send this is very important. If you don't set him correctly, you will not be able to have accurate result and you will think that you have a horrible antenna. When you give you the error result, always disconnect and connect to, the, to your Wi-Fi. And preferably when you want to test stay far away from your minor uh, from your antenna because you will interfere with your body in this situation it's not hundred percent perfect because I'm close to light and because I'm filming but in reality you will be far away as three meter two meters use this magnetic base is very helpful is three meter away and start testing I explained this in the part one. Go watch it. 12. Ten. Send again. As I tell you before in the part one, it's preferred to use multi and send multi and send a loop for ten times. And watch in glamos but for the sake of the video you not have patience to make here and go to the glamos website and blah 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 too much and cost you even extra money who want to 
you only send once and once this is the only way 14 if you not want to pay subscription to Glamos Walker app you have only to, to test multiple like this one by one by one so I test a little bit before I start to film what I figure out when I use you know what okay 13 11 9 7 as you can see give me not accurate now we will switch to the 3 dB without lightning arrester okay now I switch the antenna I remove the lightning arrester and we will start the testing like I said I don't play with the settings look the power still 14 dBi and yeah let's go once sf12 send we are connected to internet let's send i try to stay far away as possible from the antenna eleven send one more time see ya that takes so much to beacon and this is long range 8 okay one second check yeah it's connected good hope it's the same position as possible like he was here no, not here try to keep the data <sighs> sorry I'm very worried about my connector because this cable not so flexible if I took broke it as you can see the antenna is there I will continue like I say, when I pause, they just adjust my position or something. I'm not adjusting the settings. It's very really painful for my back, this position. 16. Nice. I'm not that far. I get 16. 11. as a personal opinion I test this a little bit before and I test it again on front of the camera what I see when I use with the lightning arrester I have less accurate result look now without lightning arrester and it's not even grounded and he not give me too much difference you see between 11 12 16 15 not so big different the other give you 5, 4, 11, 10, 5, I don't know, maybe I just, I think it's like this, maybe I'm wrong. And I swear to you, we will show you after this weekend that I not changed nothing in the settings. But be careful guys, if you don't lose, perfect, he performed very well without lightning arrester. Let's go to see the power. Look, antenna. I use type 9, this is my junk settings, I put them there, it's still 14 dBi. Let's come back, I will test again now, I will go to the 5.8 and I will test the 8 dB rack antenna and after I will test them even with the lightning arrester to see the difference, but you know what, we skip directly to the 8 to make the video shorter as possible but as a opi personal opinion i recommend to use uh, how to so not so filter cavity filter if you have to use lightning arrested i recommend much better to use a cavity filter he will reduce your quality of snr so there is not so accurate data about cavity filter but at least he will take just 0.5 db from your uh, 
from your miner this you will take like 1 db or 3 db i don't know how how the quality of this lightning arrestor i not have vna as you can see it's 12 he give me more accurate data without the lightning arrestor more consistent result compared with the lightning arrestor now i will put the 8 db from rack wireless and look how much it performed because i know in this location 5.8 she don't perform very well because we are indoor with closed window and if you watch my previous video you understand why I close because my neighbor is in front of me and I will look creepy filming them and making antennas videos see you in a few seconds welcome back now I change the antenna is 8587878 this is tuned antenna have short range like 20 megahertz short range like you say I see I still not change the settings but for the sake of the video I always want to show you that I'm not playing with the settings still 14 dbi back back we are connected to internet sf12 send now I'm not using lightning arrestor we will see how much he give me and after I will put the lightning arrestor and ground him. You see, when you stay a few seconds not using the, he disconnects alone. Even if it's not showing it's disconnected, it will not function properly. I recommend every time you switch antenna, close the Wi-Fi after connect to Wi-Fi again. It's connected to Wi-Fi. Back. And once I'm sorry guys you asked me to make more detailed video so I'm doing what you requested for me I try to make it step by step as possible 18 nice right this is 8 DB antenna from rack wireless and it's indoor she bring me 8 nice 18 I mean 11 If you watch my previous video, you know the right way how to test. 15. If you are a new viewer, I highly recommend to watch from the beginning. Do not be confused. 15. Kind of consistent result without the lightning arrestor. This is my theory. He reduced like 3 witnesses or 5 witnesses. But he give you more consistent result compared. I think he create latency. You know. This is how scare me about the latency. So kind of horrible. You see, not so far. 18, 17, 10. It's a blockchain thing. You know. 15. You see, not a big difference. Now I will put the lightning arrestor. See you in a second okay i changed the antenna i put the lightning arrestor i ground it it's with a thick wire like i showed you before it's grounded i always check that the connector is not open and repeat try to stay far away from the antenna as you can see with lightning arrestor it's kind of high it touching a little bit so this will play this testing if i had balcony it would be perfect testing but unfortunately i don't have but for you it doesn't matter which result i find for you you must to learn how to test so here i not give you a fish i teach you how to catch the fish i not give you hnt <laughs> i teach you how to make hnt by yourself you learn Practice it in your home or your near host location and you will find the best result for you. This is just theoretically how to use. 13, so 8, 9, 13. I believe with the, with the lightning arrestor he not give stable performance. 
maybe it's just a theory, maybe. But nothing better than testing. VNA, he will explain a lot, now 10. But unfortunately, I not have one at this moment. As you can see before I find 18, 17, 15, 18, 17, 15. Now I find 13. I find less witnesses, if I remember correctly. And not accurate every time I send. Big different kind of big different. Now I give me a little bit consistent. <laughs> nice result. It gave me consistent. <laughs> you see? Nothing had a hundred percent by RF words. Please guys, if I say something wrong, especially the RF guy, please feel free to correct me because I not want to share wrong information. I'm not an expert like I said. I just make some YouTube research, not just some thousand of hours I spend on YouTube to learn every single day. So I just share what I learned from YouTube. Maybe I learn wrong, maybe I miss some things. Please feel free to teach me or to correct me. Do not share wrong information to people. As you can see, it's kind of inconsistent result. I don't know, maybe from the blockchain or because of the lightning raster. My theory is because of the lightning raster. Less accurate. The other catch without lightning raster, the best result was 18, 17, 18, 17, 15, the worst was 11, 12, so I don't need to test the 9 dB Miguel because it's huge and it's a necessary, it will, I, she will not fit with my ceiling, especially with lighting arrester, if you watch my previous video you understand, yeah, this is the conclusion, lightning arrester he create latency, this is my personal opinion, take it or leave it. I just share with you what I learn, what I test. Maybe for you, you will find better result. At least this product for me, he create latency. I bought it 35 euros. This is like $14. It was the most expensive one in Amazon.de, but unfortunately he don't perform as I want him to perform. And it's grounded and it's still not perform properly i recommend to use a cavity filter if you want to use lightning arrester i prefer you that you don't place it with the cavity filter at least you will get less noise but with the cavity filter i'm not 100 percent how much you reduce your dbi the best one from jet vision at this moment the best one is from jet vision he costs 215 euros and uh, he have 0 0.5 dB loss only. He have a high reputation, but it's expensive and out of stock at the moment. If you catch your hand on one, good for you. And if you don't want to use a lightning arrester, just be careful. There is a high risk to, <laughs> to burn your house or your host house if there is a lightning arrester basically the lightning arrester will not protect you from lightning there is no device who will protect you he will if the lightning hit one kilometer or two kilometer far away from you this wave that will come she will provoke this she will trigger this gas to go out and protect your electronic devices that's all. But if you hit your antenna, the lightning directly, I mean, your antenna burn, maybe the house burn, the miner burn, the router burn. This is what's mean lightning. Very, very strong. This is only to reduce the damage of the wave. Like two kilometer, one kilometer wave from, light, from the lightning only. Okay guys, 
I will make even another video after this. Yes, you know, if you follow me, I'm making a series one after one after one. I will edit them and <coughs> I will share them soon as possible all in one. Like this, you will spend your weekend watching them. Now, I have a surprise for you. Watch the next video, you will see the surprise. Very, very excited surprise. Like, subscribe. And yeah, about subscribe. Please guys, I need more subscribers as possible. Like this, I will be allowed to stream because until now I still I need to reach 1000 and only there I will be able to make a live stream. With the live stream, I will be able to help you more because I'm willing to make at least one time per week a live stream. I will answer directly your question live and and if it's possible i will you will send me the name of your miner and we check your location and we recommend which antenna will work for your location if you follow sorin it's kind of similar what sorin he make i try to make it then help me like subscribe and share it as possible see you in next video the next video will be about the surprise or I will make two antennas with one splitter. No, with two splitter, two antennas with this splitter and glamus. If you are interesting, see you in the next video. And after this finish with the splitters, I will make another video about the surprise. You will be interesting for you. I'm sure of that. Bye.